back so soon. Didn't you miss me? I wanted, I've been wanting to do this video, and I haven't done videos in a couple weeks, and I feel bad. I kept thinking that I would. there was a day that I would not look like um, poo, but there hasn't been a day, and I just work is just really, really getting to me. It's making me crazy, and so every day when I get home, I look like this, and and it's just, it's bad. Anyway, anyway, um, I wanted to share with you the other, um, that a couple of weeks ago, I went to, um, digging through my messages on my Facebook, and I found, like, a subfolder for messages, and I got this message from Jennifer Galasso. If you don't know who she is, I'm going to show you here in just a second who she is, but in case you don't know already, she's an artist. And I had won a contest that I entered um, a first on Facebook. And I was so excited, but the message was old. So I just replied to her. I said, I'm sorry I missed your message. Um, it was in a subfolder. And, you know, thank you for contacting me. Um, but I didn't want to say anything because it was so old. Um, she did actually, sometimes if people don't respond immediately to a giveaway, and understandably so, the person who's sponsoring the giveaway moves on to the next person. I get that. She hadn't, though. And I won one of her decks, one of her tarot decks. She is an artist. Um, her, this is her deck. This is the book that goes with it. It's called Crystal Visions Tarot. Jennifer Galasso. Um, this is the back of the cards, which is just, they're just stunning. Um, they are a pretty darn good cardstock, and they're very laminated. You can see the glare on them. Very laminated. This tells you one of the cards tells about her. And then there's the back of the cards, and the reason this is out is because I have these things in my file effects. Um, this is the world card, the picture of the world card, and this was a lovely note that she sent to me um, on that. And so I keep both of those, I keep them like this in my file effects because they're just really nice. So I won the deck and the book that goes with it, and it is fantastic. I absolutely love them. This was on my list of tarot decks to buy, too. It's just that sometimes I would, well, no, I should say most of the time I would rather buy pins. And I haven't made a tarot deck purchase in a while. But it came in this lovely um, sort of satin purple bag, and that's pretty true to the color. It's a little more grapey than that, I guess, with this wonderful crystal point in it and the tarot deck itself. Um, there's, it's a standard size tarot deck, or pretty standard. There's the Morgan Greer next to it. So... You know, it's, I would say it's that U.S. game system size. It's pretty common, I think. Um, my universal weight is the same size. It's probably also U.S. game system. Um, the Dark Angels. I don't think that's... I think that's a little Scarabeo, but same size. Um, that's just the Dark Angels. Anyway, my point being that it's a pretty standard um, deck size, which is good because they're easy to shuffle. In the box comes the deck. You get a little white book, and let me tell you that this little white book is awesome. Most of them come, and I set the deck down, and that's why my computer did that. Sorry. Um, most of them are very short because they have the English, um, and then they have, like, the, the meanings of the cards in 14 other languages. This one doesn't. It's all in English, and so it is fabulous. So it has, you know, full ex explanations of the cards. So you don't have like this teeny tiny one line blurb. You have a full explanation. It's fabulous. And then in the back you have reading with the cards, Celtic cross spread, ubiquitous. I never ever use it. I don't like it. And then some space in the back of the little white book for notes, which I think is just so much better. I know why they market it to every other country on the planet and why they do that, but I don't like it because it makes the little white book useless. This one is not useless. So if, don't feel like if you don't get this book with it, this book is fantastic. The book that comes with it is fabulous. But don't feel like if you can't afford this or you don't get it with it that you're not going to no, understand the meanings of the cards from the little white book because with this deck, the little white book is fantastic. Um, this book, let me go over this really quickly before I show you the cards. Look, she even signed the book. Isn't that awesome? Oh, it's so awesome. I was so excited. Um, it tells you about Crystal Visions Tarot. It tells you about the tarot. It tells you about reading tarot. Minor Arcana Overview. Card numbers and basic meanings and the court cards. This is nice to have because um, rarely do you find a book that goes specifically over court cards. And court cards can be difficult. Um, I'm sorry, card numbers. So numerology, court cards. And then it tells you a bit about reversals, which is nice. 
and then what you what you have on each page for each card. It, and then this one starts out with a minor arcana in the front. I was, I was so surprised by that. It's interesting. But, so you have a page and a black and white reproduction of the card, which is nice in case you're traveling and you just want to read about the card. Um, major arcana is the same thing. You don't you don't get cheated with these with the minor arcana, which sometimes happens. Um, and then in this deck you also have an unknown card, which is interesting, and it tells you about that. I, I like that a lot. And it's kind of, you know, something that can't be known right now for some reason, which is interesting. Ubiquitous Celtic Cross. Again, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I don't like it. But there's also five card spread, three card spread. I like those much, much better. Um, double Celtic Cross, as if the Celtic Cross wasn't enough. Mirror spread. Mm, ellipse and horseshoe. Zodiac. That's the, the Zodiac one is always useful. I think. Month of the year. Um, two fates. This one looks like an arrow called Two Fates. I have not read about that one. Tree of Life. Uh, Pentacle and Chakra Split. Those two are both interesting. And, and about the author. And then in the back she has references and recommended sites and resources, which is, you know, really handy. It has the Tarot Publisher, her website, and then Tarot Forums and other learning sites, which is really nice to see because if you don't know that Eclectic exists or you don't know Biddy Tarot exists or any of those, you know, that's, that, it's really handy. Her stuff is just really well done. It's really thoughtfully done, um, especially if you're new to to tarot. I would say that if you're new to tarot, this is a, well, this would be a fantastic deck with which to start. The backs are fully reversible, <clears throat> so if you if you choose to do reversals, you cannot tell. I thought there was some writing, but there's not. You cannot tell which way is up and down. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. The cups are all pink at the bottom. I have one beef with this deck, one beef, and it's using my beef with all tarot decks is the bloody borders. Why do we need the white border all the way around it? Make the art go all the way across the card like the Morgan Greer tarot. I just, I think it takes away from the artwork and I'm not about to go hacking into my own deck. I don't cut that well and I about the third card in I would just get so bored with it. So the cups have pink across the bottom on all of them. They're just stunning. There's the four of cups. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. Uh, Major Arcana has this kind of a sand color at the bottom. This is the Empress card, and she's just beautiful. I'm going to say beautiful about 400 more times because this deck is really stunning. The Pentacles have a very light green, almost a sagey green. No, I would say sage green um, at the bottom. Wands is kind of a sort of a really light salmon color. Swords is blue. Um, other than that, there's no, I mean, the, you have this identifying thing here, but you know some decks you have like the colors around here or like a darker, where this line is right here between the white and the artwork, sometimes that line is, is a different color. These are not, you just have the color at the bottom where the name of the card is. Uh, Look at Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. I'm just going to show you some of the cards now. Just let you enjoy the artwork. Let it speak for itself. Highly recommend the deck. Um, very shuffleable. Very usable. Um, very imminently readable. Um, Ace of Cups. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's just see if there's any others. This is the unknown card, and this is the cover that's on the book. Um, this is that world card I showed you. She sent me the note card. Um, the aces are particularly genius, I think. Ace of Swords, those are butterflies. Um, it's hard to see in here. Let me see if this helps at all. It's probably just going to be really distracting and not provide any assistance in viewing at all. 
I have no idea what happened if you went black there on me, I'm sorry. Apple and its infinite genius. Magician. Three of Wands. They're just they're all really luminous like that. I don't think that helped at all. I think it made it worse, actually. It did. Um they're all just really luminous. Hermit, one of my favorite Hermit cards ever. And Hermit is usually one of my favorite cards in the deck anyway, but this is just right there on the edge of a cliff with the little light and then the light at the tips of, I'm going to say her, for lack of a, his or her wings. And then just the beautiful, the purple and, oh, just, it's really an incredible card. One of my favorite, uh, probably my favorite Hermit card ever. There's the other one, another ace, ace of pentacles. If I can't find you, there's the ace of wands. Wands, excuse me. A lot of the wands have these dragons in them, which are really well done. Um, there's a death card. This is a really neat card, too. I'm not fond of the death card um, in most decks. I, and it's not that I have an issue with death card. It's just that sometimes they are um, oofy looking. Death and the Devil are my two least, well, the Hierophant, too, I guess it's not my favorite always, but those Death and the Devil are my two least favorite cards in any tarot deck. But this is a fantastic rendition of Death. Um, World Spirit does a really good job of Death as well. Isn't that beautiful? Um, let me see if I can find the Devil card. I honestly don't remember what it looks like in this deck. Let me let you wait on camera. Um, while I'm searching through my deck that you can't see, and let me just bore you to tears. I don't see it. Here's the Hierophant, um, very traditional. Um, the only thing that's not traditional here is that you have the different symbols for different religions around here, which was, I would have liked to have seen in this deck a um, more non-traditional Hierophant, but I don't, it's okay, um, because she did that thing. I wish I could find the death card. Um, if there's anything else I can tell you about this deck, you should buy it. If you're a collector, it's a definite must-have. Um, if this is your first deck, I would say that it's a good choice, a solid choice for your first deck. Shoot, a monkey. I'm not going to be able to find it. And don't you know what will happen is as soon as I turn the video off, it will like throw itself out of the deck. Whoa. Anyway, I can't find it. Anyway, it is well worth it. Um, and then there's the card that has the information about Jennifer Colosso. Um, so, Jennifer, thank you. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you have any questions, let me know. And if not, see you soon. Thanks.